morning, friend. Happy New Year. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's the new year. Today we are gonna be in the kitchen. I wanna do a ton of meal prep. I wanna make some mineral tea. I wanna make some rice pudding. I wanna make some potato salad. I just wanna make some super easy, quick, kind of like snack sides that are just gonna be filling, you know, easy source of carbohydrate, yummy, flavorful. This year I really wanna be more intentional with just nourishment more than ever before because I feel like this past year was a year of cultivating. It was very laborious. It was very much lots and lots of just kind of sowing seeds, writing the book, continuing my education, kind of wrapping up the wellness method. And it just was, it was a very intentional year of cultivating a lot of good things that are to grow. And I've never really had like a word for the year, but I truly felt like it came to me. I really felt like God honestly just put it on my heart. And I've, I've never been one to force it. I've never been one to like say, I have to pick a word but this one really came to me this year and I just feel like I'm gonna run with it so my word of the year this year which I've never really had one before I can't I can't really think of I don't think I've no I never have officially had a word but the word of the year for this year is flourish that is the word, that's my word. So I wanna know what your word is, if you have a word, and just really prioritizing, it's almost hard to explain, just allow, like letting it flourish, you know, just letting it be basically, and, and cultivating, as we've done in the years past, uh, to have a garden that flourishes, you know, a healthy mind, a healthy body, a healthy soul, um, Lord willing. So anyway, this morning we are going to make our, oh, one thing I've done too, I feel like towards the end of the year, I was having such a hard time with my sleep. And the number one thing that I've changed that has been the best thing ever, Bo has been begging me to get a new pillow. I got this new pillow. I have to show it to you. This is my, I got to show you my night my little nightstand too, this is so amazing. But anyway, this is my new pillow, it's by Marlo. It is the best pillow ever, and here's the thing, I've never been able to find a good pillow. Just to be honest with you, that's why I've had my same pillow for literally ever, and it's just, it was just beyond time to have a new one, but I just, every time I try to get a new pillow, it's either too puffy and it hurts my neck and I wake up in the morning and I just, it. I don't like it because my my body like feels it and I've tried a lot of pillows over the years and I end up just I don't know I end up returning them I just don't love them and so and Bo really and it's hard too because usually when you get pillows you know you want to get usually like two pillows for your bed you know Bo really likes his really fluffy and I don't like mine as fluffy which I've learned that I like something a little bit more firm a little bit more um, compact sort of but I still want it to be fluffy and comfy, but not too fluffy. You know what I'm saying? So the reason that I like Marlo so much is because you can literally adjust the pillow. Usually with other pillows, you would actually have to like take out the fluff. You'd have to take out the foam, but you don't have to do that with this. So you can just unzip it and it automatically becomes fluffier. It's amazing, I love it. I feel like I finally have found the best pillow that I've ever used and I've been getting the best night of sleep ever. That is my new favorite pillow and you can use the link in my bio to get your Marlo and get your best night of sleep ever. It's the best pillow ever. I'm going to make the bed right now, but you can use the link in my bio and get your Marlo if you're wanting the best night of sleep ever. The most perfect pillow. I love them. And you can use my link to get yours and they have a 365 day return window. You can literally return it anytime within the year, which is crazy and a two year warranty. So if you don't like it, they'll literally take it back within a year. And if you're not satisfied, they have a two year warranty. So if anything goes awry with your Marlo, they got you covered. But honestly, it's an amazing quality pillow. So plus when you buy more, you save more. So if you buy two to three pillows, you get 25% off. But if you buy four or more, you get 40% off. Plus if you use my link, you're going to get an additional 10% off on top of that discount already. So click the link in my description box to shop and get your Marlo. Wait, let me show you too what's on my nightstand. So we, we are just really prioritizing good quality sleep here. We have our nice new pillow. We have my salt, little salt lamp rock, which is so good. It's like that warm red light before you go to bed. We have a beeswax candle. I need to burn this. I still haven't even burned this, but I've used multiple of these candles now and they're the best beeswax candles I found. I love that they have a wood wick. And then of course we have our 
amazing uh, magnesium spray. Use this before bed. My journal. This is so good. If you're having a hard time going to sleep, first of all, make sure that you are not too hot in your bed because your body temperature actually drops before you go to sleep so that can get that nice restorative sleep and then um, journaling has been actually proven to help your brain to wind down and for you to be able to fall asleep so the two things that you can do to get better sleep immediately is cool yourself off so make sure that your temperature in your room is nice and cool sleep with um, nice just cooling bedding and then also journal out your feelings get them out of your head and also making a to-do list for the next morning those have been proven to actually help you to fall asleep so really interesting but anyway so i've been doing that again and it's been amazing and then of course we have my thermometer i have been really working on making sure that my thyroid function is good and you know just everything like that so this is a great way to objectively get information and um, so this has been an incredible super easy tool and I love it so and then also we have my sleep mask so make sure that it's nice and dark in here so we just have all of the good things right here for a good nice quality night of sleep the red light the magnesium the lights out mask the journal the good pillow all the things so this needs to get made let's make the bed it's feeling nice and cozy in here let's go we're gonna get cooking i'm really excited and i just feel like i don't know i've been cleaning up getting everything ready for this year just tidied up all my jewelry. My friend Keisha just sent me some new pieces. These are so beautiful. Look at that sand dollar necklace and how cute you are, my sunshine. It's my favorite jewelry ever and a new sunburst necklace. And look how cute. This sand dollar, I love it so much. So literally 99% of my jewelry is Keisha. Randall jewelry. I'm really looking forward to this day and I really do want to clean out my closet as well. It's really time to just do a little closet purge. So. We're gonna do that. We're gonna get things nice and organized and just get the fridge full. It's gonna be great. So let's go do it. We're gonna quickly make right now a little adrenal cocktail. So we're gonna do about a cup of coconut water. This is just such an easy way to get potassium. And that's something when I did my HTMA, my hair tissue mineral analysis, I really needed, I really need to work on my sodium potassium, my vitality uh, ratio, which I feel like Honestly, everybody needs to do that no matter what because it's so difficult to get the recommended amount of uh, potassium every single day. We really need potassium uh, to make sure that our cells are sensitive to thyroid hormone. So something I've been really working on is that. So I've been doing like two adrenal cocktails a day. Basically, it's just to get your, uh, give your adrenals sodium and potassium and um, vitamin C. So I'm gonna, I actually have my vitamin C. It's so funny, you should see. This is literally my little tripod, which is my Stanley cup. Hilarious, so ridiculous. Such, so pro, I'm dropping my vitamin C. But anyway, I'm gonna take a five second roll. I'm gonna take my whole food vitamin C. This is just, um, a na this is a whole food form of vitamin C. So it's made with acerola cherry, cherry, camu camu. Um, I'll link it in the uh, description box. Is this one, I, did I, I'm like, did I destroy this by dropping it? Um, anyway, we're gonna take this. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, cheers. This is so good. I'm dropping all my pills. That is so refreshing. You have to make one of these. Um, it's it's delicious. It's just the perfect amount of like coconut, citrus, and the salt. I don't know. It's it's so hydrating, it's so nourishing. I love it. And I am just ready to get cooking. So we're gonna make rice pudding, we're gonna make gummies oh my gosh i got the stop i'm so excited to share this with you these are from hobby lobby look how cute these are seriously look at the little pineapple and then these ones are obviously little flowers i'm just so excited to actually make gummies now so this one and look at these bears i feel like these are really good gummy bears they're like good size gummy bears we're gonna make gummies we're going to make 
Rice pudding, I'm really hung up on this rice pudding. I've just been craving rice pudding. I just want rice pudding. We'll do a Trader Joe's haul and then we'll get cooking. I'm like eating my lunch standing up, but the easiest way I've been getting my protein lately, and if you struggle to get in enough protein, it's so important to get enough protein in every single day. And if you struggle, cause it is, it is like, you know, I feel like at least for me, you have to be intentional with it. Like I have to be mindful of how much protein that I'm getting in every single meal. And when I am, I feel so much better. I'm so much more energized. It's really changed my, it's just really changed everything. Just like very intentional nourishment and making sure, you know, that I'm just getting enough macronutrients in. So, but one of the easiest ways, and this is something I'm like, why? I don't know what it is. I've always made gummies. I've always made, we are going to make our little, you know, gummies, but something that I've been doing recently that's just so easy. It's like the lazy way to get protein. One tablespoon has 11 grams of protein. That's a lot. So you're getting in a lot of protein with a very, very small amount. So I just do one tablespoon, which by the way, I just got these. I, I had a Williams Sonoma gift card. So I treated myself to these new um, table, like little measuring spoons and they're so cute. So anyway, I love them. And I just do one tablespoon of the gelatin. Oh, I should have measured out my water. Oops, let me go. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in this and then I sprinkle it over, let it bloom. And then I just pour a little bit of hot water, stir it up done 11 grams of protein so easy and gelatin is really rich in the amino acid glycine which we need to produce glutathione which is like the master antioxidant in our body so love that about that so it's blooming let me i'm, I'm gonna try to show you like what this looks like it looks really funny but that's how you know that it's working so uh you can make this taste delicious i'm literally just doing it to simply get the protein um but it's just so easy it's so incredibly easy but you could totally like flavor this and you could make the uh, obviously but if you're just like in a pinch you need a little bit of protein something quick easy i literally just drink this and down the hatch and we're done i just pour a very small amount stir it up okay so another thing that i've been doing is taking my progesterone so i just finished if i can get you can i just i'm just setting you everywhere today um but if i it's so cold we don't have heating in our house and anyway the heater's running let me just turn it off for a second so it's not so loud but something that i've been doing uh, i'm i'm doing it the upside down is taking my progesterone so and i feel like my body has responded so much better this time around uh well specifically for a couple reasons first of all i'm using a different progesterone so this is an oral one and it goes you you put it on your gums a lot of clarity from the htma test i feel like that is such a helpful tool if you are struggling with your hormones uh just in general um after getting that i really it's so clear it's just you can see so clearly what you need to work on and so again for me that was really focusing on potassium and sodium and then and then it gives you it just gives you really a window into how your body is doing and how your cells are doing so it was really interesting, but I feel like the other reason I wasn't using it, uh, again, the progesterone well, like my body wasn't responding to it well. And by that, I mean, I just was so incredibly tired, which progesterone does relax you, but I like couldn't function when I was doing the topical one. So I never, I never even fully, I don't know. I feel like I never fully even gave it the chance to do what it needed to do because I just couldn't stick with it. Um, and then, and then I was on one, like, or like a pill before that, instead of topically and kind of, this is orally, but it's different. It's on a pill. And I, this one's just working so well for my body. And because I believe, you know, I supported my estrogen detoxification and now I'm doing this and it's just, and I'm feeling my body, I'm giving it protein carbs every few hours. I just feel like it's responding really, really well. So I'm going to do this right now. So this is the progest E, this is the oil. 
And again, um, and the other, and then the other thing too is, so I'm taking the right dosage. I supported my body in clearing estrogen. And then I believe it's just also the type too. Again, it's, you know, this is an oral one. I can dose it out throughout the day instead of just taking one big amount in the morning or night or morning and night and just getting like a ton of it. I'm taking it throughout the day. And I think that that could be a reason why my body's responding really well to it too. So. I'm feeling so much better. And also after the HTMA as well, I've uh, just talking to, you know, I, I've always, I always have believed in bio-individuality, but it, it's just so much more clear to even my own personal health. Like you can do all the things, but there's some things that we're just, you know, that's how we're born. And talking to my mom, my grandmother had really low thyroid function. I didn't realize that. She was actually on potassium pills every single day. She'd take a potassium pill in the morning. <laughs> and then, which is just, I love my grandma so much. I've been thinking about her and it's just so crazy to me. Like it just makes sense, you know? It just makes sense. So she would take her potassium pill and then she would drink a whole pot of black coffee. And I just think that I'm like, oh, grandma, <laughs> like it's just so classic. But anyway, um, she'd take her potassium in the morning and she had really low thyroid function as well. And her mother, so my great grandmother had thyroid problems as well. And my aunt had really bad thyroid problems. So she had her, she ended up having to get her thyroid removed. So anyway, um, it's, it's really, it was really helpful to me. So, and I'm excited. I'm really excited to get my practitioner. I'm so excited to become a practitioner. I start studying next month for that. I should probably put this on because it's like literally falling down the, it's falling off of my finger, but you just put it in your gums. So literally that's exactly how you apply it. And I will link to a book if you're interested in progesterone and if you ever want to get your progesterone tested and see where you're at, the ideal time to do that is five days after ovulation. So you want to, if you're wanting to confirm strong ovulation, and if you're wanting to confirm that your progesterone levels are optimal, five days, if you're doing a blood test, five days post ovulation. And, um, you want to make sure, I believe it's a level eight, a level eight that you're looking for. You're looking for the number eight. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna be checking on in the net, like in the net, in the coming months. We're gonna put this one on, and then we're done. And I'm so excited to get cooking. This is so funny, you putting this on, and it's so easy too. I feel like I don't know. You don't, you know, I don't have to like put it on my inner thighs and get off my pants. You know what I mean? You just put this on really quick. It's just so it's so easy to do. And by the way, we have on our dinner, so I just have on a roast and. You know what? The easiest way to make a roast, that I've, I, this is, it's not even, it's not even an easy way. It is an easy way, but it's so easy that it's not even a way. You literally just put the roast in the crock pot. I'm like, where has this been my entire life? I don't even put salt, pepper, nothing. I just put the roast in the crock pot, no water, no anything. And I put it on low for eight hours. It comes out so perfectly. It tastes amazing. It tastes incredible. And then I just put salt on it and we just eat it like that. I mean, I don't, it's so good. And it's just so incredibly easy. And I'm telling you, the flavor is phenomenal. So that is what we got going on for dinner right now in our crock pot. I gotta get those flowers and some water ASAP. And I'm gonna put this back in the fridge, finish up my adrenal cocktail. We're gonna fill up all of our flower bases and make the house nice and beautiful. By the way, I got this new vase. I feel like I'm pretty picky with my vases. Like I have to absolutely love it. I love this. That's what I, I've been trying to be very intentional this past year, even just with purchases of making sure that I absolutely love whatever I'm buying, you know? I remember my friend told me that years and years ago that her grandmother had told her that. And I just think that that's, that's a great rule of life, you know? If you're gonna buy something, you should absolutely love it. And so I got this, I found this at Target and I just absolutely love it love it it's so cute so we're gonna put this i got i found these at trader joe's we're gonna put this in here i feel like it's gonna be cute this is too long do they need to be shorter Ooh, okay that's cute i just feel like hanging out today i feel like i haven't talked to you it was such a peaceful christmas it was so relaxing and i really feel like for the first time all year i slowed down and I, as again, again, like I said earlier, I feel like this year 
This year's word is flourish. And that's something that I really, really want to be more intentional about this year is taking rest. And I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't, I really didn't take uh, a lot of breaks. I worked pretty much every day. I was always doing something. Um, even at nighttime, like I don't really watch shows or anything like that. I just, I will just work in the evenings and, or study. It just depends on whatever it was, whether it was the book or studying or um, it, it didn't matter, editing, just whatever, you know? I was just always on my laptop doing something and I, which, you know, I am grateful for how my, you know, I don't know, I guess my diligence and work ethic has developed over the years. I used to be really, I used to really, really struggle with everything has to be perfect. And I feel like I've really worked on that a lot over the years and done is better than perfect. And I've, I've learned a lot on that, but I definitely this year, and that's something that I already started, that's what I was doing the past few days right before we entered into January, is really planning out uh, the year and taking time for fun and prioritizing rest and fun. And um, I, I did do a good job of working from a place of rest, if that makes sense. Like I didn't feel that inner, which I'm so thankful for. Like if you struggle with like actually really feeling stressed in your work, um, there are little shifts that you can make that really do make such a big difference, at least for me. Um, first being like letting things go that not everything has to get done. Just prioritize what you need to do and truly don't worry about the rest and, and just accept that not everything is going to get done. And that's something that's really helped me and not worry about those other things that don't get done because I think we get stressed when we get overwhelmed and we have too much to do. And so there was a lot that I had to do last year, a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. It's crazy. I look back and I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> like, what was that? Like it was, I, it was insane. It, it was straight up insane, but it was so good. And it, and it was insane, but at the same time it wasn't because I really just learned to manage my time well and focus, not get distracted. And even, you know, went to Mendocino and wrote there and just, tried to really surround myself with beauty and put myself in a place, in a place of, in a place of rest and also inner place of rest, all that kind of stuff. But this year I, you know, I want to, I want to make sure I'm taking a day off. I want to make sure I'm resting and, and enjoying a day where I can just, you know, it's like the seventh day, you know, to let it be a day of rest and that we, you know, we need, we need rest. God created us to rest. And so I definitely felt it a couple times there, a, a couple times. And I, I, I want to make sure that I'm doing that and including a day of rest in my week. And so, um, I, I started planning this year and started planning things that I want to do and, and, you know, listing out places that I want to go and see. And so we already, we're going back, we're going back to Mendocino. It's my favorite place in the world little, my, my, my dream in my heart would be one day to own a little cabin in the woods of Mendocino in the redwoods of Mendocino and go there and write my books. Oh my gosh. That'd be so amazing. Write, write books for you. That would be a dream. Anyway, that's my, so my dream, I have two dreams, um, like materialistic dreams that they're just fun. You know, they're just like fun dreams. I don't care if they ever come to pass. It doesn't matter because ultimately we're going to heaven, but just fun, you know, fun little dreams, uh, fun little dream chat. My dream is like a million palm trees in the backyard. That is my dream. I grew up going to a really beautiful pool from our neighbors. I, it was just the most beautiful thing ever. She made her backyard just look like Hawaii and I have the most amazing core memories there. And that would be like a dream is just palm trees everywhere. I just want a million palm trees. So that's my first dream. My second dream is a little, this is a newer dream because I only discovered Mendocino this year but it's to have a little cabin in the woods of Mendocino, as I said, and be able to go there and write and sip on warm coffee and look at the redwoods and enjoy just the beautiful nature that God created in the magical place of Mendocino. Okay, we are literally hanging out all day. I am like kind of into long videos right now. So let me know if you like this kind of content. 
you know, I'll sprinkle it in. I, I like I like the fast paced, super fun videos that's, you know, just cinematic and fun. And But sometimes I just like a good old fashioned long vlog, you know, and I like them, I like it long recently. So, you know, we're just gonna hang out. Let me know what you think though. I wanna know what you like, cause you're the one watching. Let's put our little um, water in here. Do you like this? I'm so curious. I think it's so cool and beautiful. Okay, I love this. I'm obsessed. I think this is so cool. all of our flowers okay this is adorable this makes me so happy okay all right i didn't even do the trader joe's haul oh we have our organic gold potatoes so we can make our potato salad we have our chives we have some dill for the potato salad i got some mozzarella i made lasagna for the first time in my adult life um and and it was amazing with this brown, these brown rice noodles. It was so good. So organic sweet onions. So, you know, just to have on hand in case you want to have another little lasagna. Um, organic blueberries. It looks so good. I'm so sad I forgot my bags today. Spontaneous little Trader Joe's trip. But um, we have some arugula. I've been loving a side arugula salad lately. We have our avocados and some more bananas and then ricotta for this lasagna that I am yet to make yet again. So, okay, let's cook. Good grief, we're gonna make our gummies. I'm so excited, I have all of our molds. I'm kind of nervous that it's gonna stick. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of coconut oil. I don't know because I've never, never done this before. So. I'm just basically going to do like a little bit of coconut oil in there and just kind of quickly, not perfect, but just kind of, I'm thinking that even a little bit of the oil is gonna help it not to stick just in case I just, that would be so sad. How sad would that be? And for this one, I'm gonna be making a guava jello. So I've never made like gummy, I have, I made, I made, I've made like jello, you know, things like that, but I've never done like the molds and I want it to be a little bit more chewy, if you know what I mean. Like I want it to have that more of a chewy, it's different, you know, it's different than jello. It, it would be literally just exactly like the difference between enjoying some jello and then enjoying um, gummy bears where you get that really chewy texture a little bit. So I want it to have that. Uh, and so we're gonna we're gonna do our best with just very minimal ingredients. It's literally just the gelatin, and then we're gonna do guava. So I get the guava nectar. I get organic guava nectar from Costco. It's so good. Guava is super rich in vitamin C. It's amazing. And okay, so we are done with this one. And then last but not least, we're gonna do our flowers. And again, these are chocolate molds. I picked these up from Hobby Lobby and I don't know, like it's just a silicone mold. So I feel like it's going to be totally fine, but we shall see, we shall see. And I, I'm just so excited for these because I feel like it's just really fun and what a yummy, delicious treat and what a really easy way to get gelatin. And I just love it. If you're struggling, I was thinking about that. I feel like as I've reflected on this whole year, I was just really reflecting on how far I've come with my health journey. As you know, um, walked through a very, very difficult season recently. And I, I think that it's really easy to, again, I kind of opened up earlier, you know, shame, like the, it just felt like shame was like really pushing on the door and, you know, but I, I, as I've learned and reflected and honestly, truly learned more about my own health history and my family, like I was mentioning earlier, uh, things have made a lot more sense and a lot of the pieces to the puzzle have come together. But as I was thinking over everything, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in where we want to go. And it really is so true. It really is that cliche of, of like, don't forget how far you've come. And I think the reason that it can be so tempting to forget how far we've come is because we feel like we have so far to go. And what if we just allowed ourselves to be works in progress and allowed 
allowed ourselves to be where we are and where God has us and that God is going to work together uh, everything for good. And so just, you know, trust, really trusting in that and really, and really believing that it's been really good. And so I was reflecting on my gut, just my whole health history. And I was like thinking about it and I was just remembering on, I remember when I could not even eat something without being super bloated, super uncomfortable. I had the worst, just unhappiest gut ever. I struggled even in my teens with acne and just like really just struggling with gut health and, and just issues, you know, hormonal issues. And I am just reminded of even how far I've come in that sense and how my gut now I can really eat and not get upset with anything. Um, and when I say that, even my sister, she's made fermented sourdough a couple of times and I've totally eaten it and I have not had one issue at all. I don't plan on like reintroducing gluten and keeping it in my diet just as a personal thing. I don't think there's, it's just, I really believe it's up to personal things, um, personal preferences, but, 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 but anyway, we could just chat about this like all day, but we need to make these gummies. But what I will say, properly prepared grains are so much more easy to digest. And I am super thankful that I even can process them properly prepared because I could not do any of that. <laughs> I couldn't even eat hardly anything for a long time. And my gut was just so, yeah, it was, it was such a struggle. And I thought I would never be able to have dairy again. And I would never be able to have, you know, food that I love again. And now I'm just, I'm really reminded and if you're struggling, if you are struggling, something super easy that you can do that I know it's overwhelming and it can be, but something really easy that you can do is incorporate glycine rich foods into your diet, like gelatin, like bone broth. It's very, very restorative and it really helps to repair the gut lining. So I think that this is one of the easiest ways to do it. So anyway, Let's get the, my hands are like full of coconut oil. Let me rinse them off. You're going to do half a cup and I'm just kind of, I'm sort of winging this, sort of not really. I will, we'll see how the texture comes out, but we're going to do half a cup of the guava nectar. Again, this is from Costco. And then we're going to do half a cup of the gelatin. So I really want to make sure that these have a good consistency and they're nice and chewy. So this is a water gelatin. Hopefully this is going to be like, Hopefully it's gonna be able to bloom properly. Little splash more. We did it, we got our half cup. So maybe this is like three fourths of a cup, but it's blooming up really nicely. Then the other half cup, we're going to heat up in our saucepan until it's about boiling. So let's do that. We want this to be really hot, basically boiling. All right, we're gonna give this a good stir. Beautiful. Okay, it's looking good. As you can see, I got this from Target quite a while ago and I think this is gonna be the perfect thing to pour our gummies in. Okay, okay, this is working so not well. Okay, I have to go a little bit faster, I think, yeah. Our little fruit molds. Okay, we have all of our gummies. It's a little bit messy, but I was just not really feeling pouring individually <laughs> the gummy bears. So I just poured it all in and I honestly think they're setting up so nicely already. So I'm just gonna get these into the outside fridge and then they'll set up by tonight. I'm really excited. And then we'll have one later. These are gonna be so fun. I really hope that they pop out of the molds well. All right, it's time to make our rice pudding. And the thing is, is that a lot of the recipes called for an egg. So I don't know if you've made rice pudding before, do you use an egg? But I'm just, I'm not gonna use it this time. I'm gonna try this, uh, just the basic like milk rice. Um, I'm gonna do coconut sugar and some Ceylon cinnamon. So I'm gonna rinse the rice really quick. Okay, so we are gonna do half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna do five and a half cups of, I have raw milk. And then we're going to do half a cup of the coconut sugar. And that's it, we're gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna add the rice. And apparently it's that easy. And then I'm gonna add some golden raisins in at the end. And then, oh, that was exactly half a cup. Half a cup of our coconut sugar. And we're gonna add in five and a half cups of milk and that's it. 
I'm gonna sneak in a little bit of collagen. I don't think this is gonna change the consistency too much. I just had a little bit left and I wanted to use that up. We're gonna let that cook for about 40 to 50 minutes on a low simmer. Okay, while our rice pudding is on, now we're gonna make our mineral tea. So I get these off of iHerb. I love, these are huge bags. So I have red raspberry leaf, and then we have stinging nettle leaf. And I did order some oat straw as well from Iyer, but it's not here yet. So I've made this before and it is so delicious. If you have a hard time just making sure that you're getting in minerals and you know, just, it's such an easy way to do it. So all you do, it's so easy. You're just gonna take two tablespoons of red raspberry leaf. So we have one and then two. It was a little bigger than two, but that's okay. Like a nice heaping tablespoon. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of the stinging nettle. Nettle is incredible for you. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of that. And then I'm going to fill up our jar. So this is, let's see, how much water is this? This is just, this is about eight cups of water. So we're gonna do eight cups of water and we're gonna do, obviously we're doing boiling water. So this is about four cups right here. I think just over four and you just pour it in. That's literally it. Oh, if I can pour it in correctly. <laughs> Maybe it's not that easy to pour it in. <laughs> you just pour in your water over your herbs. And the key is to let it sit overnight. So that's why I get this jar, look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so easy. Mineral tea. Amazing, so incredibly good. Look at that, look at our tea. Looks so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna finish. And this is great because you can get bulk uh, tea from iHerb and I love that. And I really need to get some storage for it. But right now, I'm just literally clipping them together. Such a, such a horrible way to do the storage, but you know what? It's working. And then we're gonna add a little bit of honey into it. So you wanna let it sit overnight. And then that way you're gonna get the full benefits of the tea. And then when you're ready to drink it, you can add in fresh squeezed lemon. So it's really gonna be so rich in minerals and it's just, oh, it's so delicious. It's so delicious. And it's, I mean, literally mineral tea in like genuinely two minutes. If I had a larger boiler, a boiler, a kettle, if I had a larger kettle or if I really wanted to speed it up, I would just do it over the stove, but it's just so easy to let the electric kettle heat up and pour it in and then you're done. And oh, I even wish you could smell it. It just smells so good and very earthy, but almost fruity because of the red raspberry leaf. And it's just, it's so delicious. Wow, I love it. And what an easy way. And it's so easy to drink the nettles too because the red raspberry really makes it kind of sweet. And then the honey, and it's just, it's a really refreshing tea. It's so good. You wanna bring your water to a boil and then let it cool for a minute and then pour it into your jar. So I'm going to add a generous, generous squeeze of honey because this is gonna make eight cups of tea. So maybe like a tablespoon per cup, I don't know. Very generous amount. Okay, I think that's maybe a little bit more. Okay, super easily digestible carb, so good, love it. Honey, I, it, this tea is absolutely delicious. Okay, so we have our honey, we have everything in here. And I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit before I put the lid on, maybe like, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour. Just let it cool and then I'm going to leave it overnight. And that is your super, super easy mineral rich tea. It is so delicious. So this is a make ahead tea. Make it the night before, it takes literally no time at all. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that Bo did this hilarious thing, he saw it online, with a, uh, what's it called, like one of the, uh, like a drill, a drill, and you like put the drill bit into the potato and then you turn it on and it literally peels your potato in like five seconds, it's amazing. But we don't have that today, we just have a good old fashioned hand peeler, not just any hand peeler though, the best peeler in the world from William Sonoma, hands down, just worth it because it has lasted for over 
five years now. We're gonna go on six years this wedding, this April, and it is sharp and it is incredible. The best peeler you'll ever have. We're just gonna do three pounds. I'm gonna do all three because that just does not seem like enough potatoes to me. And you can save your skins of the potatoes to make a mineral rich broth, which maybe we'll just do that too. The potato skins, so. All right, Bo, go. <laughs> We got Bo to do it. <laughs> the first time I saw you do this was the funniest thing I've ever seen. This one's an odd one. Okay, you got it. Ah! This, one's Bo! this one sucks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a fail. So for the potato salad, I'm kind of going to wing it. I'm going to do a couple celery sticks and then we have some fresh dill and chives right here. And I am going to add in a clove of garlic and I'm going to add in a little tiny little bit of honey. I'm going to see how that goes, but we're going to do the chosen foods. This is the MCT oil mayo, which is awesome. Super simple swap to swap out typically. Um, Mayo is made with the soybean oil or canola oil, and this is a really easy swap to do MCT oil. You could do avocado oil. I like the MCT oil one better, just personally. And then we have the non-fat Greek yogurt. This is the Strauss one, super good. And then Bubby's, we're gonna do bread and butter pickles. I just love bread and butter pickles. You could do dill pickles. We have Dijon mustard and yellow mustard. I think I'm just gonna mix them. And then I think you're just typically supposed to do like a white wine vinegar or like a rice vinegar or something like that. I'm gonna use this white wine vinegar with grape must. This is from Trader Joe's. I just got it a while ago. I don't know, we're just gonna try it out. So give it a little bit of acidity and then maybe a splash of pickle juice. So it's gonna be nice. And then we have our hard boiled eggs and those are gonna be done. Chop them up, I do, I'm gonna do four hard boiled eggs and then we're doing the Greek yogurt and that's gonna make it nice and protein rich. So this is gonna be a super simple thing to snack on. <music> about a half a cup of the yogurt, the Greek yogurt, maybe like a quarter cup of the MCT mayo, the pickle juice. Ooh, it's starting to rain outside. Like a tablespoon of the vinegar. And then we're gonna do maybe like a teaspoon, oh, teaspoon of the yellow mustard, and then about a teaspoon of the Dijon. Okay, we're gonna add in just a little tiny bit of honey, just a drizzle, literally just a drizzle. And then we're gonna add in all of our chopped goodies. We have that clove of garlic in there as well. And that way we're gonna have it all nice and mixed before we mix in the potatoes. That way uh, we won't over mash or over mix the potatoes, hopefully. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is unbelievably delicious. Oh, stop it right now. That is so good. I wish you could taste that. Oh, that is bursting with flavor. That is absolutely perfect. These are perfect, perfect hard boiled eggs. Exactly nine minutes. Or no, I'm sorry. Exactly eight minutes. Stop. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is so unbelievably flavorful. This is, I cannot wait to try this. This is our second year in a row, like not doing Christmas gifts, which is kind of exciting. It wasn't really planned, but we were just like, we don't want anything. And um, so, but right before Christmas, I said, I'm gonna get this for my present. So I got a nice new little pepper grinder from a local store. Love to support local. And this was made in Greece and it's just so beautiful and it grinds the pepper, <laughs> like it really does grind the best. The best pepper I know, it's probably sounds so ridiculous, but it's just such a fine, it's a, I don't know, it's just perfect, oh my gosh. And it smells so good, wow. Give this a little bit of salt, let's give that, oh my gosh. I can't even stop eating it, so funny, I'm like literally eating this right out of the bowl. Our rice pudding, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is literally to live for. 
This is to live for. They're both to live for. We have our mineral tea. I'm gonna pop the lid on that right now. Look at the gummies. Here we go, let me show you. So cute, stop it. Look at this pineapple. Baby pineapple. Oh. Oh my gosh. That is so fun. Perfect texture. Oh, it's working. They're not getting stuck. Wait, this is so satisfying. Such a fun way to get gelatin in, seriously. But there's our gummy bear. Oh, so nourishing too with the guava juice. Super easy. I know this sounds funny, but it's true. It's protein carb, very, very nourishing. Uh, good source of like vitamin C and oh, I just, and guava is really actually good for progesterone production as well, which is what we want around here. Ooh, okay, that is so cute. Okay, that's cute. All right, let's try, ooh, look at, nice and firm too. That is, that is really what we want. Nice and firm. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Our little gummy bear. <laughs> Join the wellness method. Welcome, Amber. Okay, anytime you join during the middle of the video, then I always want to shout out any of you who joined before because I'm like, I feel like it's just, you know. Welcome, Amber. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, the new wellness method. The uh, Zoe. Zoe, you joined earlier today at 10.05 a.m. to be exact. So welcome, Zoe and Amber. I am like done with the bulk of the program, but I really have some things that I'm gonna add in there. I can't believe that. It literally took me all year <laughs> to write the book, study and get certified and that, or recertify or keep, keep my education and work on the wellness method. It was such a full on year, but I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it just makes me even more excited when you join and I just love hearing, I love to hear how much it has helped you and just changed your life. So it's only gonna get better. It's only going to get better, so.